see by the beautiful drawing on the board. This is you. This is the self of you right now. This is the idea of you. This is the guy that's working the job he doesn't like. This is the guy who isn't making the money he wants. This is the guy who doesn't have the physique, doesn't have the girl, doesn't have the family life, or doesn't have the dream and desire that this person has. This person has the girl or boy. This person has the money. This person has the fame. This person has the family. Whatever it is you want, this is the idea of yourself that you've seen in your dreams. But this is you right now. You are in this border. You're kind of almost in this jail. Let's put this guy in a jail. You're in jail right now and you're in a spiritual jail. You do not know how to go about becoming the better version of yourself. And this is one thing I wanted to say to you guys. It is all possible with action. I'm here to change your life and I'm here to show you how you can take this action in becoming a better version of yourself and changing your life. If you haven't seen the past video, there's a card up in the screen, how I lost 70 pounds and changed my life. If you wanna watch that video, please, by all means, go click it. But for the time being, you need to take action. I had to take action. I had to step up to the plate and say to myself, you need to become a man. You, <laughs> you need to become a man. I had to step up to the plate and say to myself, you need to become a man. You need to finally take the action that's required to change your life. See, I was in this jail like you. I was in this feeling that I was nobody. I was nobody. I didn't know what to do with my life. I didn't know who I wanted to become. But through taking action and actually having a dream, I knew that I could become something, right? I know you're sitting there saying to yourself, that's exactly what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I need to take action, but I don't know how to go about action. There's something I was reading in a Donald Trump book once, and I know some people don't like Donald Trump, but one thing I wanted to say is that he highlighted this word right here, courage, courage. Do you have the courage to go after it and do what it is? Because this is what you should be asking yourself if you wanna change your life. Do you wanna have the money? Do you wanna have the family? Do you wanna have the beautiful girlfriend or wife? Do you wanna have those nice cars? Do you wanna have a relationship with God? You need to have the courage to step into your purpose. This is what's holding you back right here. Courage, 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 courage. It says in the Donald Trump book that the reason that people don't wanna go after a certain thing is because they don't have a courage to go and actually do the certain thing. And I know I'm saying certain things a lot, but you need to understand that <clears throat> you could have innate talent. You could have innate ability. And I guarantee you, you sitting behind the screen, you do have the ability to do what you want to do. And you know you do, but you just don't know how to have action and courage. Do I have enough courage to do it? Well, I want to lay one thing in your head. We are all going to do this. And I hope that this, this isn't going to look good. So please ignore me. Look at that. We are all going to die one day. So you're going to tell me and sit here that you are not going to have the courage to go out and step into your purpose because you're scared about what, I don't know, somebody says, somebody says. Because that's what's stopping everybody else. If you want to, if I want to put everybody into a category, this right here, and I'm sorry, I'm dropping stuff. I'm actually being quite intense for once. This right here is stopping everybody. What somebody says, and a lot of people are going to come up with the thing about money. Oh, I need to have money to start. No, you don't. Somebody else has got the money that you're looking for. The bank is willing to loan you out money. Oh, but my credit score is bad. Well, work on it for a bit. Stop making excuses. Because the amount of time that you spent in the making excuses, you would have found the courage first to go out and do it and find a way to get it started. It's not, nothing is stopping you from going out and doing what it is other than this right here. And people are all worried about what somebody says, because that's what I'm going to talk about right now. What somebody says, me and you, what I'm saying is worthless because I'm going to die one day. While it might not be worthless to you, it might not be worthless to me, it's going to be worthless at some point because in 300 years, nobody's going to remember this. Or they might. I have no idea. But me and you are both going to die one day. So why would I be worried what somebody says? I had posted a TikTok video a while ago about me interviewing a homeless lady. And I was asking her about the drug problems. And she was very big on, she wanted to take her shirt off. <clears throat> and I had a DM from somebody who told me that... This is exposing the homeless in a mental health crisis is along the lines that she said. I don't respond to it. Why would I respond to it? Why am I giving somebody my time and effort in, why, why am I giving somebody my emotional feelings and letting them leech off my emotional feelings? Because when you get sucked into what other people say, you, stand, you tend to not have the courage to do something because you're worried. See how this loops back into each other, courage and what somebody says? It's all going to loop back into each other. I'm scared because I don't know what my mother's going to say. I'm scared because I don't know what my father's going to say. Truth be told, if you cared that much about what somebody said, it doesn't matter. Why would you care? Because I guarantee you, your parents are not going to care. And if they do, it is what it is. Because they're not going to care when you're making a lot of money and you're able to retire them, are they? And I know it's pretentious for me to say because I shouldn't be screaming. But sometimes I get so frustrated seeing people with the amount of skill needed 
and you might be sitting there saying that you have the skill because I know you have the skill and you want to become this dream version of yourself. You want to become that fascinated version of yourself, the one with the big biceps or big legs, the one with the big fat pocketbook, the one who's able to retire his wife so she never has to work again, the one who's able to drive his dream car, the one who's able to lose a lot of weight and actually prove people wrong. I know what you're feeling right now. You just don't know how to go about having the courage. And I'm here to tell you that courage comes from faith in something bigger. Courage comes from faith in knowing that you can do it. And I'm here to tell you, oh wait, you can do it. Wow, incredible, isn't it? You can do it. There's nothing stopping you other than this right here. You're limited by your mind. You're limited by the brain. Scientists still haven't figured out where the mind is in the brain. They can't locate the mind, so what's stopping you? It's not the brain, it's yourself. It's the version of you that you think everybody lives up to. You are your own individual self. You are this brain right here, this is the brain, and you are saying that, no, I don't wanna do it. I don't want. But truthfully and honestly, you gotta stop saying no. You gotta stop saying no, I don't want it. Or maybe you do want it, no to, no, no, I don't have courage. No, I don't have a dream. No, I don't have skill. No, I'm scared somebody, what somebody says. It's all negative. Everything is negative and it's stopping you from taking this big thing right here. This looks like a mumbo jumbo, but I'm hoping you're understanding what I'm saying. Everything starts from here. How can I have the courage to go and do it? And what happens when you have the courage to go and do it, you take the action required. I can't just lose 70 pounds. I can't just gain 20 pounds of muscle back. I can't just make $600 in 10 minutes. I have to take certain action that is required to go and do something. It all stems with action. Not wishing upon a star, not praying to God, because what happens is, what does he say? Faith is dead without works. Implying that the faith that you have in regards to going something, you have faith that you know you can get here, but faith is dead without works. How is faith going to work when you can't take action on a certain thing? It's in scripture. It's undeniable fact that everything starts with action. All it takes for you to do is just jump into that, 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 that prosperity pool. Jump into that pool of the realized idea of yourself. Because the hardest thing for most of you to do is take the first step. Do you think I had it all figured out when I started this? I did not. Do you think I have it all figured out now? No, I still don't. I still can't watch my own videos because I think my videos are horrendous. But that's the thing is I just have to start. I didn't want to start on TikTok. I was afraid of what people think. I'm not far off from you. I was afraid of what people would have said about me. I was afraid of what my friends at work would say. I was afraid about what my friends at school, I mean, I wasn't at school, but my friends from school would say to me. I was afraid of what my parents would say. They don't care. None of them care. Everybody's too worried about what they've got going on for them to care about what you're doing in your life. That's it. Nobody cares. I was so worried about what somebody says or what somebody's saying behind my back for me to even start. And then look, the TikTok successes come, the YouTube successes come, the money successes come, the God successes come, the faith successes come, the family successes come. All I see is success in my life. But it all started from this. I had to take the action. Something was going wrong in my life. Well, what did I do? I took the action to solve it. Me and my girlfriend have never argued in six years. You need to understand something. You want to have a relationship like that? Take the action required. Most men are afraid to man up to their own faults that they won't take the action required to say, you know what, I'm actually sorry. I'm sorry that I said that. I'm sorry that I did that because they're own living in their own fantasy world and they're too afraid to take action. And then they're the same people to say, oh, my woman cheated on me. She did me no good. Well, it's because you're not taking the action to try to solve a relationship. It's because you're not trying to take the action on making money that people are looking at you saying that, oh, I don't have anything. Well, no kidding, because you're not taking the action required. I hope this is motivating you in some way to go and do something. I really truly do. Because if it's not motivating you to get up off your lazy bum and do something in your life, do you really want to look back? David Goggins says it best. Do you want to look back on the stairway of heaven and say to God up here that, you know what? I was fine being lazy. No! He's going to look at you with a big scroll and say that, you know what? You could have been this, 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 but mm, I didn't want to be. I'm not even caffeinated right now. Could you imagine me being caffeinated and speaking on this? It's absolutely absurd. <laughs> but let me slow it down for you, okay? Action comes from a calling and comes from a purpose. Courage comes from a calling and comes from a purpose. You need to understand that wholeheartedly, that if you want to go after something, you have to have the courage to say, you know what? I don't care what you think. 
You know what? What you say about me doesn't matter. You know what? I don't care what my family says. You know what? We're both going to grave, so I'm not going to let your words have an effect on me. There's very few times that I'm affected now, and I've been very, very blessed by God for the understanding that I should not be in my comments. I've been hit with a lot of negative comments in my life, and it's almost seasoned me to the ability to not look at my comments. You know, I will look at my comments, and I will graze through them, and I will respond to the nice ones, and I'll like the nice ones, and I'll pin the nice ones, but the negative ones, I'm not letting your negative energy affect me, because if I let your negative energy affect me, I'm not winning. You got the best of me, and you're winning, and that's what you're afraid of. You're afraid of what somebody's gonna say about your dream. You're afraid of what somebody's gonna say about what you wanna become in life. You're afraid of what somebody's going to say when you first join the gym, right? You're afraid to join the gym because you're worried that people are going to look at you, okay? You're afraid to go on TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram, Twitter, Facebook because you're afraid of what people are going to say about you behind your back or about how bad your content is, about if you're actually doing something right or if you're actually in your niche. You're afraid of all these things and that being afraid is not going to lead you to take the action because you're so worried about what somebody else is going to say. Grow up. Get over yourself. People are judging you behind your back and you're so asinine to the fact that people are looking at you, laughing at you already. Doesn't matter how skinny you are, doesn't matter how good looking you are, doesn't matter how ugly you are, fat, we could go down the list of this, that, or the other thing. People are looking at you and judging you. But it's just because it's something different that you're afraid to take the action. Take the action. You will change your life and the change in your life, the person you want to become right here, you go from, you go from frowning to smiling. You can become that realized idea of yourself. If you want to join a community of us who are re actually becoming the better version of ourselves, join the Self-Improvement Lab community down below. This is a true blown fact that whoever joins gets a free sandwich at the end of the day. Hmm, I don't think so, but hey, it is what it is. And I hope you guys learned something today. I'm not usually this passionate, but this is something I wanted to talk about mainly because nobody's home, but we're going to leave it there. Go after it. This realized idea of yourself can become true, but it's only when you take the action involved to go and do it. Are you going to sit on your lazy bum and hope the money comes or are you going to take the action and have the courage and not care what somebody says and you may have the skill and you may have a dream, so go after it. That's all that matters is that at the end of the day, you can say you executed. Not tried, I'm tired of the try word, that you executed on your goal. Trying is not a thing anymore. It's 22... Excuse me, it's 2024, you're executing. I'm executing on my goal. When somebody says, are you trying to get it? You say, no, I'm executing because it's going to happen. Ho, ho, I want to see somebody with that confidence nowadays. It's very rare for somebody to say, oh, I'm trying. None, or it's very rare, sorry, for someone to say they're executing, they're getting it done. Most people are willing to say that they're trying, but not many people are executing. Run them over, my friend, because I know the power is in you to run them over. But it all starts right here, action and courage. I hope this has been a fun lesson. If you want more, hit the subscribe button. If you want more, there's videos up in the top screen. If you want more, go to my channel. There's tons more. God bless.